Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you need to export your invoices in Zuhu Box? In this video, you will learn how to easily export your invoices from Zuhu in just a few steps. It is perfect for reporting, accounting, or sharing. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So first of all guys, make sure to own an account within Zuho Books. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and make um, an account. Let's get started. And basically you should go through this and give them a couple of informations. That's very important so you can get into that specific thing. I'm just gonna write here whatever. Let's choose currency to be USD, English, and let's choose this. Okay, get started and just after that we will be granted the access to our account and we will be in the home page now no thanks and once you are here and first uh, open your account you will find here your sales make sure to go to them and click on invoices now if you have a new account which the same thing as i do you should click on your invoice and basically create a new one let me just select a customer i will create a new one and I'm going to name it just as an individual and I'm just going to give customer display name uh, save yeah that's all I need to give um, let's keep everything simple as possible enter the valid item name okay here we go that's it um, invoice date, invoice due date the end of the month um, and that's pretty much it so here i'm just gonna add stuff like this a new task let's add like nothing much and let's i have received the payment then click on save so this is the invoice guys as you can see now if you went back to the invoices they will be looking something like that status and basically everything that you need so the invoices are basically going to be used for the financial reporting in the loss of the month or the loss of the year etc and for this specific reason you will have to get them all in one document check them out check which ones have you paid which one you didn't pay yet which one paid you and which one did it pay you so you can filter all the invoices and have the total sold and basically like the credits and the sold that you have made during the year or during the month for that reason you need to export them now how we do so we are simply going to click right here on these three points these three points will give you a couple of options two of them are uh, like basically have relationship with exporting and importing which are this first two import and export in this video you are going to export so simply click on export invoices and here you can export your data from zuho box in csv or excel as formats i mean yeah excel uh, it, this is just excel so here mode your invoices he selects status all you can filter it so you can choose for example paid one uh, approved one unpaid pending rejected forward overdue uh, draft pending approval etc then here you can filter even more with the day range for example i only want the paid one for the month of january so you can put here day like first of january uh, and here like 30th uh, 30th of january or something like that here, if you do have a template, then you can export with the template. Here, the decimal formats, I don't know about it. I'm not going to change it. And simply here, choose the export file format. So, you do have three things. The XLS and CSV. So, the XLS is basically the Microsoft Excel, but it is basically the version from 97 until 2004. And XLS X, which is the the Excel that we use currently, which is the updated version of Microsoft Office 365. And there is the CSV, comma separated value. So it's basically just like a notebook or notepad. Uh, you will find every value like randomly written like so. Let me just open notes. 
something like that for example name comma uh, last name comma uh, number paid uh, i don't know amounts balance something like that so yeah it's up to you or preferably you go with xo1 so it's gonna be more organized and much more better then all with that being said you can add a file protection password so nobody can get the access to it unless they have the password and then click on export and it should be exported in a few seconds now the export is pretty simple as you can see here i have all things click here on enable editing so you can get to edit this uh thing so here we go now we have everything that you might need um maybe sometimes you will not really need all of these informations as you can see right here like there is a bunch of information that you will not need that's why you create a template uh, as we saw when we tried to export right here they ask us for export templates so this template is basically gonna choose field name in zoho box field name in export file so you can add the field that you want and name them like here so you can have a specific name for them um and basically remove everything else that you don't really want it to be included in here and of course this is very long so you cannot really look at it I mean even though I'm zooming out it's still too long it's from here to here which is a very 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 long list to actually control it as a human being and basically keep checking every single invoice one by one like so I would like to actually remove things that are not really needed I mean if the currency that you are using in your company is basically one which is USD then you should remove the currency code you don't really need it the due dates yeah you do need it customer ID maybe not just give the name uh, of this customer Customer and the last name um taxes etc i mean yeah you could have like the uh, payment the tax and the total and basically if there is any discount uh, but yeah other than that i mean yeah it's, uh, it's up to you i'm not really into this domain so you got better vision than me so make sure to adjust it the way you want it to be and that's pretty much it so the next thing to do is to simply just make sure to uh, in case you were, you were really going to export a lot of uh, invoices just make sure to add some borders all borders so you can separate each line of them to help your eyes to target each line easily and to manage to understand it much more better and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do have any more questions or topics that you want us to talk about in the upcoming videos make sure to mention them down below in the comment section and that being said see you guys in the next tutorial